Hello, welcome to my studio. I'm Lana Hazelwood and I'm an artist. And I'm gonna show you a drawing exercise called Scribble Game. Hello there. So we're gonna do a scribble picture next. Um, there's a lots of different scribble doodles that you can do, but the one that we're gonna to do today is a really fun game. So we need a pencil. We need a black felt tip pen. I've got a marker pen here. I've got some colours to add a bit of colour to my pictures and a piece of drawing paper. So all we start with is a lovely big looping swirling doodle, scribble even. <laughs> so move that pencil around the page. I don't want too many lines, that will probably do. And then we're going to investigate these lines and we're looking really closely and we're looking to see if we can spot any pictures emerging. Maybe there's faces or creatures in there that we could turn into little mini drawings. So sometimes turning it round helps. That might help you to spot something that you haven't seen already. So I'm just going to turn it round see what I can find maybe this way okay well here I've definitely spotted something so I'm going to take my marker pen and I'm going to go around the outline of this creature and I think it might be a blobfish <laughs> so I'm going to go around these lines I can use a little bit of artistic license here and there so I can add some little marks now I've got a choice here I can make a big happy blobfish or an unhappy blobfish I'm thinking if I use the unsmiley mouth that might look a bit more realistic so there we go there's my blobfish I don't think I can give him a fin I haven't got the right lines for that so to make him look extra um, realistic I'm going to add a little bit of colour to my blobfish So there's my first drawing that's emerged from the scribble. Now I want to see if I can find something else in there to go with my blobfish. What else could I see? Let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to take this part over here and I'm thinking there must be some kind of head here with a very fancy hairdo. So I'm going to go round these lines here and that's going to be the head. Uh, yeah, and then I think I could use this line for a bit of the nose. There we go. Well, oh, very dramatic hairdo. And there. Uh, yeah, I think I could just add that part there and that could just be the neckline. And again, I'm going to add a little bit of colour to this to make it seem more realistic. Okay, so I've got the lady with a very fancy hairdo, I've got a blobfish, I'm just going to have a little look to see if I can spot anything else hiding in here. I'm thinking there must be something around here, maybe, aha, I think I've seen something here. I wonder if I've got a sort of dog's head here, let's have a look thinking that's sort of the shape of the head with a great big lovely nose and it could even be a sort of patchy spotty dog with some ears now how to do the ear I think that could be an ear there and maybe I could just use my artistic license just to 
had the other bit of ear there. Okay, I think that's going to work. So now I'm going to add in an eye. Where do we think? There, there, another one there. And I'm going to colour that in, see if I can get it looking spot on. Oh, spot on. <laughs> So there we are, so we've got another little doggy there as well to go with our person and our blobfish. So that's the scribble game, have a little go, I'd love to know how you get on. It's great for using your imagination and being nice and loose and free in your mark making and it's just great fun as well. Okay, till next time, bye.